Bye. Welcome back, guys. Part one w worked out really well, so we are now on part two. Today I will be showing you how to use the Marauder firmware. So, if we go into lab.flipper.net, we can go to apps, and then on here, under apps, we can search up, if it ever loads, Marauder. SP32 Wi-Fi Marauder. So I already have it installed like usual. So we're just going to hit update. But on your s screen, you would have to hit install. So, oh, did it not update? That was weird, guys. I don't know what happened there. Um, okay. So I guess it's just not being nice. But anyway, um, let's head over to the Flipper app. I also have to close this out since, you know, it's just going to bring annoyance. Connect to your Flipper. Okay, so it's now it's connected. So, on here, guys, you're going to go into Apps, then into, where is it? Oh, yeah, GPIO. And then you are going to scroll down until you find, oh, it's right up here. Wi-Fi Marauder. That's what you want. So, in the last video, I talked about how to flash it. So, I'm assuming that you guys have already flashed it. So, there are a couple cool things that you can do. One of the cool things is that I can actually showcase here. Is you don't even have to select anything. So there's a couple attacks. So I'm going to go with Rickroll. So all you have to do is scroll down, hit attack, and then you just hit attack. And so once it pops up, and guys, remember to have your dev board plugged in. Oh, I know what happened. So guys, what's important is, is that on... So I just have flashers saved to my hotbar, but check the previous video if you want to figure out how to do all that. So on here, you actually have to scroll down and hit switch to firmware B. This way, it knows to switch to Marauder, and then on your board, you have to hit reset. Or you could hit it on here, reset. Okay, now that our board is reset, there should be no light on your board. So then we just go back into Wi-Fi Marauder, and we can go to, down to, huh? Oh, there we go. We can select, mm, wrong select, sorry guys, we already had it. So, wait. Sorry guys, little dilemma right there. So we can go down and to attack, and we can go over to Rickroll. So now that it's at Rickroll, we can hit OK, and now in a couple seconds, it decides to work. OK, so now your board should be displaying the red LED. It's a starting Rickroll spam stop with stop scan. So here... From here, we would go to the Wi-Fi, so we'd hit over here, and then instead of that Wi-Fi, on here, in a couple seconds, it should pop up. See? So you hit Show Available Networks, and then here we go, guys. Never gonna give you, never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna run around and desert you. You get the point. So it pops up the Rickroll, which is kind of funny. And then, if we go back here, I'm gonna show you guys how to do the deauthenticate. So what deauthenticate does is this one is kind of malicious. So you'd have to hit scan. Oh, 
Give it a second. So now it's looking through all these Wi-Fi networks. So then you'd hit back, and then you'd go immediately to, oh, sorry, list. You want to go to list. Huh? Okay. And then on here, you might have to wait a little longer. You can look for your Wi-Fi network. So in this case, my, my one didn't show up. But you can go back, and then whatever number it was, on, see like zero, one, two, whatever number it was, you would have to go into select, and then put that number in. So say we wanted Wi-Fi network four, we could hit that, save, back, and we, oh, I went too far. Okay, and then we'd scroll down to attack, and we could attack it with a de-authentication. But that's kind of malicious, so what that would do is it would disconnect every device from the Wi-Fi by loading the Wi-Fi up with different um, Wi-Fi networks. So, I think that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you, guys. Bye.